Hi, Toaster here from Aussie 8. Welcome to sunny Port Augusta. Due to the nature of our figure eight and the lack of uh, roads in outback Australia, or paved roads, I guess, we have an opportunity here to repeat a segment that we did uh, nine months ago. So this was between Port Augusta in South Australia and three ways in the Northern Territory. Um, so what we can do is actually do a comparison and see if anything has, has changed or not changed. A good example here is in Port Augusta. Uh, we've gone from not having any fast DC uh, to having yeah, this chem power set up with the RAA. Um, yeah, so let's see what else we've got um, as we journey up north through two three ways. We are arriving in uh, Pimba, South Australia, which is about 200 k's north of Port Augusta. So it's the first uh, charging stop, public charging stop. And when we were here last time, there was a 32 amp uh, socket available. So we were able to draw a maximum of 11 kilowatts with our Tesla Model Y. On PlugShare, there is a um, RAA fast DC charger now available on, on the site. So let's check it out. So what a difference uh, nine months makes. So we've got the um, RAA uh, fast DC 150 kilowatt chem power unit here um, with two, um, two plugs. So there's two of us charging here. I've actually disconnected to give this guy uh, from Victoria um, the maximum rate that's uh, possible, which I guess is 150, but I don't think Model Y um, would necessarily draw that. Yeah, so this uh, setup means that um, you'll have a much uh, quicker stop in uh, Pemba, um, which is not a bad thing. There's not too much around here. There is warmer up the road, um, but yeah, you probably just stop for half hour, 45 minutes, and you should get back up to 100%. Approaching Glen Dambo, which is 115 k's northwest of Pimba. The last time we were here nine months ago, there was a 32 amp socket. Um, this time, according to PlugShare, there should now be some RAA chargers. I'm not going to use the term fast at the moment because um, I think these are just AC uh, with a bring your own cable setup. All right, we'll see what kind of charge rate we get. Should be 11 kilowatts. I'm hoping it's 11 kilowatts, which is the maximum this car can take. Um, if not, it might be an interesting situation where the old 32 amp um, socket might actually um, charge faster than this RAA setup. Anyway, let's give it a test. All right, so obviously you need to bring your own uh, Type 2 cable for these, um, well, I guess in the tester parlance, we call these destination chargers. Um, so AC set up. And rather than futzing with the app, I'm actually going to use um, my hack, which I learned from the internet, where I've got um, the ChargeFox ID on this EV card, so it kind of doubles as both an EV RFID card and charge fox. I'll just wave it over there rather than futzing with the app. Let's see Let's see what we get for a charge rate It's a bit hard to read these outdoor displays um, Why in a sunny climate like this they would have such a small small screen is beyond me um, Let's go see what the car is saying So the charging rate seems to have stabilized now at 7 kilowatts, um, 32 amps, and for my state of charge it says we've got 1 hour and 45 minutes remaining. So let's, um, yeah, so I've paid to use the 32 amp socket, um, let's see, uh, see what kind of rate we get over there. I should get 11 kilowatts, which is what I had before. So obviously for the 32 amp socket you do have to bring along a converter and they're not, not cheap. Um, not, you know, so not everybody's going to travel with them, which means that they will be stuck using this RAA setup in Glen Dambo. Um, but yeah, if you do have one, um, you should get a faster charging rate. I'm going to use the older, the older charger here, see if we can get a faster charging rate. Uh, yeah, I had a test study the day, it took three hours. Over there? Yeah. yeah, I think this is faster. 
Okay. You have to bring one of these uh, one of these boxes though, and they're not cheap. All right, let's go see what the charging rate is. Yeah, as predicted, getting more than seven kilowatts. Hopefully, it'll stabilize on eleven. Should do. Mm, some um, is fluctuating a bit. All right. Well, um, yeah. Today it's not um, not great. I think we were here nine months ago and used the setup. I think we were getting a fairly stable eleven kilowatts. Um, anyway, so it looks like the charging here using this is going to take an hour and twenty versus an hour and forty-five. So it's a bit of you know twenty minutes saving. The distance between Pimba and Glen Dambo is not great. Um, it's only one hundred and fifteen kilometres. So I think a lot of people might if they've got the range might go a Pimba, Kuba PD in either direction and make it on one charge. Um, on our rear wheel drive I think um, it would have been tight um, with the smaller battery but if you you know conserve the energy with AC and driving slowly you could probably do it. So I think a top up here is definitely worthwhile for many of us. Um, it would be nice here if it was just a bit faster. But anyway um, at least we are charging that's uh, the important point. Oh, this is Cooper PD. We're about 300. And, right onto Hutchison Street. We're about 320 kilometres north of Glen Dambo. When we were here nine months ago, the fastest charging available in town was at the uh, Big Four Caravan Park, which is just off to the left here. So they had a. Uh, well, they still have, I guess, a Tesla destination charger. Um, so that would have had, depending on your car's configuration, you're drawing up to 22 kilowatts. So let's see what changes we get uh, nine months later. The planned fast charger for Cooper PDs here at the Visitor Information Center this would be it here does not look like it's operational yep um, according to plug share it's not operational so yeah once um, this is set up I think it's going to be 150 kilowatt camp power unit on the left there and a slower AC charger on the right so that's a very common setup uh, for these new RAA um, sites. Um, so yeah, it looks like the um, Big Four Caravan Park is still your fastest um, charge. Leaving behind the interesting landscape and mines of the Opal City, uh, the next stop heading north uh, is Cadney Homestead, which is about 150 kilometers away. And according to PlugShare, the setup here is powered sites. So that's um, 15 amps, should be, get about 3.6 uh, kilowatts. Approaching uh, Marla Traveler's Rest, that's about 80 kilometers north of Cadney Homestead. The last time we were here, they had a 20 amp three phase setup um, out the back. Um, since then, according to PlugShare, they now have an RAA um, AC charger, I believe. Um, looks like it's a very similar setup to Glen Dambo, and if it is, it's a bit of a step backwards because the um, the three phase setup that we used last time we got 11 kilowatts and the RAA charges here are can, I think are going to max out at um, 7 kilowatts. So while it talks about needing to use the um, app you don't actually have to, you don't need RFID or anything, you can just bring your own cable and, uh, and off you go. Well, I think I'm still going to go ask about the uh, 20 amp and see if it's still available. 
So the good news is we're getting a free charge here from the RAA, so thanks for that. Um, the bad news though is it's um, only 7 kilowatts um, and the 20 amp socket that used to be available for us travelers, we used it nine months ago, is no longer available. Apparently, according to the manager, it's been disconnected. So a bit of a step backwards here in Marla, so we'll be here for a few hours. Um, hopefully there's um, stuff to do. About 160 k's from Marla, you'll cross the South Australian Northern Territory border and then another 20 k's beyond that so a total of about 185 I think you'll reach uh, Colgara which is the first stop in the Northern Territory uh, and they have um, so when we were here last time we used their three phase uh, and also they have uh, powered sites 75 k's north of Colgara uh, is Earl Dunder, which calls itself the center of the center. Uh, it's also the gateway to um, Uluru, so the um, turn off to Uluru is here as well. Uh, the last time we were here, there was a three phase set up near the uh, accommodation at the Earl Dunder uh, Roadhouse. Um, since then, uh, NRMA have put in a what they're calling a prototype um, EV charger, um, so powered by solar, goes into batteries, and if that fails, there is a backup uh, generator. Well, let's see what we got. Yeah, so that's the road down to Uluru. Um, and this is the new NRMA setup. So it looks like we've got a couple of tritium chargers, I guess a, a newer generation. Um, probably still flaky though. Um, and we've got, I guess the DC converters, probably batteries in that, in that cabinet and a canopy of um, solar panels, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, plug in and see what kind of charge rate we get. Getting a charge rate, suggesting we're getting 34.6, which is nearly the um, capacity of um, the setup here. All right, looks like we're getting a, getting a charge. There's, there's two stations, um, so we've got Chatamo here, but you can really only use one connector at a time. So there's yeah capacity for two, two cars. The other thing that's cool here is we've got a dishy here, so I guess that's for the connectivity back to the uh, to the mothership. So sixteenth uh, of April, and the um, NRMA fast charger. Uh, in Alice Springs um, started working today. Um, the fence is still up around the back there but the uh, fridges as they call them um, are um, available and lit up and the app shows the site is available so we've got uh, one Chatamo and one CCS down there and uh, two CCS there. So for those of you either staying in Alice Springs or passing through you've now got a fast charging option. Thanks um, NRMA. While in Alice, I got a chance to talk to Outback EV Hunter. Um, it was his crazy idea that we uh, are doing this uh, figure of eight. Um, but yeah, we had a chat about various topics, but he also covered the new charges in Earl Dunder and Alice Springs. I saw a, a 7.30 report on the ABC that yeah, yeah, you did a few years ago where you were yeah, advocating yeah. like roadhouse owners. Sure, to yeah, yeah, and that's really all we can do. Now, yeah. now really we're on that point again where we're advocating to roadhouse owners to, to increase that now to, to try and get D, um, DC put in, yeah. right? And, and that's where hopefully you'll, you'll have a bit of a report down at Eldunda to have a look at that, that beast again. And, and that, again, I guess it's not really the final answer. It's a bit of a stepping stone still. But now we can, instead of maybe a couple of cars a week, we can now be getting a couple of cars or three cars a day that, that it would support and uh, slowly build up the traffic. Uh, it also gives us data for that traffic. So we can also project um, when we need to do the next thing. So we can now have live data of how many people are using it. 
and 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 you know, this date we're going to need an upgrade so we can actually plan for those upgrades from now on and not just do it haphazardly. So you know there there is a, a method to the madness. Um, hopefully we're we're still going to have a bit of government backing in the meantime, but. It is time for now the, the, big, the big supply companies to probably fess up and go, yep, this is a viable thing. Approaching tea tree here, there's been no change in the charging situation in the, the nine month gap. Uh, we stayed overnight the last time and there was some accommodation, Airbnb accommodation that had um, three phase. Um, I think it is a restricted site, so you have to um, stay there, um, but most people use the three phase at the roadhouse so yeah there's a couple of choices here but um, yeah the fastest would be three phase Barrow Creek so there's no change in the uh, charging situation here it's still uh, three phase and uh, powered sites So what has changed here at Three Ways? Well, it's about to change is the NRMA have put in these fast uh, DC chargers. Uh, they're not open. I spoke to a technician in Alice Springs uh, who's working on this network up and down uh, for the NRMA and he said that it should be open in a few weeks. I think they've got utility issues here. Yeah, so the last time we were here, we used the three phase, but they also have powered sites. So Three Ways is in a good position here. It's on the junction of the Stewart Highway and the Barclay Highway. So if you're either heading to or from uh, Queensland or heading up to Darwin or down south to Alice Springs and uh, Adelaide, it's obviously a good charging spot. Um, so it'll become, probably become quite uh, busy over time, I think.